Sun start to set, we get sappy your thoughts. Sun start to set, we get sappy your thoughts. All in our mind. Everything along the lines of healing, um, restoration, um, when it comes to the community, when it comes to women's healing, uh, whether it be through trauma um, or whatever circumstances that they've been through in their life. So my whole purpose is just to help heal the community. Uh, women, children, men, whoever I can extend my assistance to. Um, I started helping the community in 2010. Um, I started with a campaign called You Hating and You Loving. Um, we used to travel around and go to the schools, uh, whether it be college, elementary, or middle schools, and we would go um, and just educate them on bullying um, and, and bully prevention. And so from there, I established a group um, from that campaign called the Role Models, where it was women as a collective with their daughters or their nieces, uh, where we would come in and just um, basically focus on being the role model in the community or being the role model in our school. So when we see things happen, we always uh, intervene to kind of bring more of a positive um, in the negative situation. And so from there, um, I created a Soul Sisters group um, based off of religious studies or spiritual studies uh, where we would come together and study in a group. It was three of us in the beginning um, and our studies started off like breaking down the Bible and um, different religions from there and then also collaborating like history as well. So uh, we would take scriptures and then we would also um, back up with like history as well. And so from there it just kind of branched out uh, the entire vision. The whole initiation like with Soul Sisters was basically me um, beginning my own spiritual path, my own spiritual journey, um, and becoming this uh, reformed, uh, devoted Christian. And um, as I began to do that, I realized there was a lot of things as I read in the Bible and as I was experiencing in church, it was not a reflection of what uh, was in the scripture. So, um, me being a very intuitive uh, person, um, I began to hear within my spirit that I had my own way, my own, uh, my own journey, my own route that I needed to take. And, um, and how I would go about doing that was by myself. And so at that point, I just began to um, put a lot of study into what I was doing and spending a lot more alone time and just breaking down everything. And so with that, I began to gather a different interpretation of things rather than the things that I was taught. So I began to see things for myself. Um, and with doing that and putting out that information, I begin to attract a lot of people who begin to question things for themselves. And, um, and so with them having questions and them having an interest in, uh, so what is it that you're reading? What is it that you believe in? What is it that you study? You know, um, just kind of making them question things. They're like, okay, that seems interesting. So, um, and I think a lot of times we have things deep down inside of us. And then sometimes we have those things that just trigger. So I just kind of looked at it as like informational triggers or truth triggers. And so um, as people begin to inquire, the sisters begin to inquire, I always invited them to come and study with me. So at uh, some point I kind of became the teacher um, and then we will all come together and study every Sunday. And, um, and I begin to call it Soul Sister Sundays. And uh, as I said, it was established with three sisters, me and two other sisters, uh, Sharice and Serena. And, um, and then after that, it just started building even more. And before you know it, I had 11 sisters sitting in my house on the sofas. We buy more chairs. Uh, we always would gather and make prayer. We would always wear our all white um, with our head wrapped. So just kind of to adorn ourselves and just initiating ourselves into a journey. We didn't even know what happened. And um, over the years, uh, we're now up to 400 members, um, and we open it up to sisters that are not in the city of Savannah, so you can be in Georgia State, or you can be in a different country, or in a different state, but it's just as a collective, we all fellowship with each other, we're all like-minded, we're all a support system for each other, so now that we have that as a collective, uh, we now have a facility um, where we can open the doors to other sisters, brothers, or even their children, um, to get uh, what they need. So basically with this facility that we're working on, it was an uh, unexpected manifestation um, because usually how we've been hosting our circles with the women, we've been, I established it first at my home and then uh, we would go out into the park 
um, and meet in circles there, go to the beach and meet in circles. Um, so now having a facility where we can utilize as a headquarters and it not just be for us, but be open to the community to come in and get what they need as well. So here we're going to offer uh, whatever services um, that any of us are skilled in, uh, whether it be energy, whether it be uh, transitional health, uh, food, um, so whatever food that we give here is going to be vegan or vegetarian foods. We want to make sure that we establish in healing and um, promoting something to transition for the better. So whether that be mentally, uh, physically, I'm also a yoga instructor. So the physical side, I will be incorporating uh, some physical activity with yoga. Um, as far as like the health, we have uh, nutritionalists, um, we have vegan and vegetarian chefs. Um, and then we're also going to be incorporating a garden around the entire perimeter um, and growing our own herbs and our own vegetables and stuff like that. And we'll be utilizing those things for our recipes as well. Um, here we also want to offer movie nights, educational movie nights for men, women, and children of whatever age. So yeah, it's just a lot. Like we just, we want to do everything. If there's something that we don't know to offer, I'm sure the community is going to let us know and we're willing to incorporate everything. Well, we don't have an official date yet. We're basically, um, we basically have made an agreement with ourselves that we're going to be here working on this property every day um, until we get it to the standard of what we feel it should be for the public. And as soon as we know that, then we'll establish a date. But um, I'll say no more than a month. So I'm thinking in like a month or so, we should have it pretty square away. Uh, we have a private Facebook group for women only, um, which is Soul Sisters of Savannah as well. So when you go there, you can click to add yourself as a member and then you could be approved. Um, definitely message me on my personal page, which is Cheyenne Camilla Williams. And Camilla is K-A-M-I-L-A-H, um, Cheyenne Camilla Williams. And just send me a private message and let me know who you are and that you're interested um, in the Soul Sisters uh, group and then I can add you from there. If you want the information of how you can help us because we're not receiving any governmental assistance. Um, we're asking the community to assist us in the vision that we have for them. Um, so that's monetary, that can be through volunteer work and reestablishing this home and this gardens. Um, so yeah, whoever wants to help, whoever we can help, that's what we're here to do. And um, we just open our facility to be that and do just that. Oh, we plan to do a lot with it. It's a healing center. Um, it's going to have multiple services. Um, it's going to be a garden. <laughs> over back here in this corner, because these are three pecan trees, but over back in the corner, starting by the fence. We come up a little bit. I'm not sure how much, but we're going to put a, a vegetable garden out there. Plant a couple of lemon trees along the fence over on this side, maybe, and just have fun with it. Herbs and vegetables and fruit. Natural living. Looking forward to it. So, I learned about Soul Sisters of Savannah about two and a half years ago when I met Cheyenne through mutual friends. And she was explaining to me that she had a real desire in her heart to help heal the brokenhearted sisters of Savannah. Sometimes, as sisters, you know, as women, we get so caught up in doing things for other people and making sure everybody else is okay, we don't often look at ourselves and make sure that we're okay. Um, it was like a, we wanted a healing center mm -hmm. and um, we had like a goal for it, like, you know, Sean talked about, you know, she would like to have one and it would be good for us to have one and it was like, yeah, you know, and I'm thinking like, years down the line, like maybe two or three years and a half point. But how everything happens so fast is amazing. It's like, you know, she said, like, takes determination, willpower, and discipline to get something that you really want.